Marcus, Mr. Azure. I'm gonna do a little tutorial on uh, the Open Broadcaster software. Um, I thought about doing this video because DX Tori doesn't work at the moment with uh, Daisy or Arma 2, and uh, this might help people that want to have a program but doesn't want to pay for it and still record Arma because uh, Daisy doesn't uh, or the new BattleEye update does or well. Uh, blocks the extory from accessing the program they will actually make all third-party apps or programs not available for Arma 2 soon in the future so I thought I could show you guys a couple of things of in this program which um, this is free you can download it at a website I'll post it in the description and then you just the only thing you need to do is um, install it and it will look basically just like this without the scenes and sources uh, the first thing you might want to know is how to make a scene this is actually a really simple program compared to twitch if you want to just start off um, you can just right click here add scene right click there and then add whatever you want here like if i want to add, add an image i can do you can call this or the source or something and then I can search for my images here. I'm gonna see if I can get a random image. Just take the desert one. Then I have it there. If I wanna edit this scene or move it or something, I press the edit scene button. Then it makes it lets me move the scene. I can resize it too. Um, and then if you want to, uh, like uh, as you can see now, I can't really change the aspect ratio of the picture. That's what you do here wait I'm lost now I'm sorry <laughs> um, all right well you should be able to do that somewhere <laughs> maybe it's here uh, no okay I have no idea <laughs> it's, it's some way well th these are just the basics how to record things so um, I could show you guys how to set up a game um, to set up your monitor, the thing you want to do is you want to click uh, monitor, capture, then you'll get this window and then you can press or well call it derp and then you select which mon monitor you have. If you have two monitors you might want to change it to the second one or the first one depending on if you want, want to like record or capture the chat or something on the other screen and then show it on the window. Um, there's a couple of things. Uh, captured layered windows. Um, actually, I'm not sure what that does yet. Um, wait, okay, is there something else you guys might want to know? Um, yeah, the settings bar. These are all the settings. The How you start off streaming is you go to encoding. Here's where you select your quality and everything like that. Um, this is the quality for my stream. I use the highest one and uh, you probably want to do that too it really depends on your computer uh, or well your internet also um, and then this is the bitrate for the stream like how many times how many bits there is in like one picture per second or something like that it's, it's kind of weird it's hard to explain but um, if you want to have if you want to use 720p as your stream quality you might want to set it to at least 2500 and then just leave that as it is um, I think it looks like this when you open the window you need to un unblock or uncheck that box and then change the quality balance uh, alright uh, the audio you don't need to n touch this at all this is good as it is um, the 128 is pretty decent uh, you can go higher if you want higher quality but most microphones doesn't really support like to get it much better than this so I, I'll do I would just keep it like this and then the broad settings or broadcast settings no, I don't want to apply anything all right uh, right now I am recording a local recording to just to show you guys how this works so this is how it looks if you want live stream here it is and this is my play path stream key kind of and you want to get this from twitch uh, well that also depends on 
where you're streaming from but I'm streaming from Twitch I'll show you guys how to get that key I'm gonna blur my key out because then other people can use it but this is basically how you do it um, you go into Twitch you log into your account obviously all I'm all pause that video <laughs> and then you go into uh, the settings bar come on there we go and then videos and oh okay yeah you can't you can't even see the key all right that's good um then you send an invite from this place to your email or whatever and then you will get the key on your email and the key you get from on your email you'll have to copy that into the play path slash stream key place and that's basically it and uh, then you can uh these are just the stock settings until yeah everything is the stock except this one file path this is just for my recordings uh, my local recordings where they save on my computer and then if you want to stream hotkey like if you want to press F9 to start recording uh, F9 to stop recording it really depends because uh, in my opinion I don't want to use a stream or a stop stream start stream key because imagine you're gaming and then for some reason you accidentally click this button and then your whole window just closes down you don't want that happening so <laughs> I would just keep it as none uh, the the thing you want to do when you want to start streaming is just press start stream right there um, okay next window the video settings um, doesn't you don't really need to do anything here I don't think uh, the only thing you need to do is well select your video adapter the one that goes to, to your computer I think this should be lead um, it should just be normal you, you can't really do any <laughs> you can't do much here um, then you go uh, I think it's set to monitor at first you want to press custom and then set your uh, the resolution you like want to record your screen in almost uh, I think that's correct and then I'm downscaling downscaling my resolution to 720p so I stream 720p and then uh, my FPS is 45 that also depends on your computer like if you can if you can have a stable 45 FPS while you stream without it going below or anything then you um, you can have 45 also depends on your internet connection um, I have both pretty decent so uh, everything else should be regular and there we go let's go down to audio uh, okay <laughs> there isn't really much to say here the only thing I did was get uh, where I get my sound and that's my headset this is I am actually not sure what this is I don't don't I only have one headset but <laughs> you wanna you wanna make sure that your headset speakers are set to this option and then your microphone microphone setting to this one and uh, if you want to use push to talk like on TeamSpeak and such you can use a button to talk also um, push to talk milliseconds and then it's like a delay when you press the button and then it speaks I think uh, mute mute everything well it's kind of self-explanatory but it's pretty nice this this program is bleh, this program is actually really good and uh, this is everything default I haven't touched anything um, actually there is one thing you might want to know about this page um, the video on the video bar thing here um, this thing uh, I use very fast uh, this depends on your PC uh, because your uh, your this is basically a compressing level almost so if you wanna if you have a really really good PC then you can use a lower one like medium or fast or something like that and uh, your um, uh, the file that's getting sent to the twitch server is going to be smaller so you are uh, y you can use smaller bit rates on your streams I don't know if this makes sense but uh, I would just keep it as very fast because this is the default one I haven't really changed anything there because uh, my internet connection is really fast so I don't really need to do anything like I don't need to go lower or slower I guess to maintain my quality 
um yeah and then if you want to have higher fps and stuff in game that works too and then the microphone noise gate now i haven't touched anything here this is just standard and yeah i guess that is it uh yeah did i show you how to stream locally i don't think i did all right there we go file output only you just need to change the mode to file but yeah <laughs> file output only and then you show you choose your path here to which folder you want to save the file like so and then you press apply whoa and then start streaming obviously uh, all right i hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video about some of the settings that's that are included in the open broadcaster software this is just uh, i'm gonna use this program r right now when i'm re w <laughs> when i record daisy and stuff actually I, sh I should maybe show you a game or something do i have minecraft on my computer I don't. Alright, I don't have Minecraft. What with what game could I start really fast? Uh, Alright, I guess we could try Counter Strike Source. Just to just to show you guys. Whoa. Okay. I need to do this windowed mode so you guys can see what goes on. Because I, I don't think you should see this. I'm not capturing this part yet. Alright. Um there we go now you should see it it's good and then if i want to capture this window the only thing i need to do is add video no game capture <laughs> and then counter strike derp and then you press hl2 counter strike source and stretch image to screen you could use that ignore aspect ratio if you have like a weird aspect ratio you're playing in and okay and then, uh, if I remove my monitor capturing, nothing happened. <laughs> okay, <laughs> give me one second. I need to I need to fix what, what goes on here. It should work. Uh, okay, let me let me get my window capture up again. Okay, we're gonna make it a different way, hopefully. All right, let's turn out those things. Up. Why is it not capturing the window? It should be. Let me join a server. That m it might be something like that. Uh, just completely black. All right. Um, <laughs> let me try this instead. Window capture. There we go. <laughs> that works. <laughs> this is retarded. Okay. There we go. This works better. Actually, that looks even weirder. Going on here. Um, can I change any settings here? Maybe. Why is it like a black box? Oh yeah, derp. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you might want to see what I did. That's that's a good part. All right. Here we go. You can see the window. The only thing I did was change the uh, the capture thing to a window capture. Then I'm capturing this. Okay, I need to. God damn, this is a bad tutorial. I'm sorry. Uh, monitor. Select monitor one. There we go. Okay, the only thing I did was um, I took the monitor capture. No, I did not take the monitor capture. Window capture. And then I selected the Counter Strike source here. And then it selects. If you want to press the inner window, it doesn't show the borders and stuff. And entire window, it shows the borders too. So, yeah, that's basically how you record stuff in open broadcaster software i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like the video and comment below if you have any questions i'll try to answer answer them as good as i can and goodbye have a